everyone. My name is Marva Sands McIntosh, and I am here today with my friend Myrtle Nora, and today is Inauguration Day. Every inauguration day for the past five inaugurations, Myrtle and I, we get together to celebrate Myrtle's hard work. <laughs> and we're here today to hear her story and to hear how hard she works and exactly what she does. Today, millions of people saw her work. She works on the Capitol, and I'm going to let her tell us exactly what she does. Before that, Myrtle and I are immigrants to the United States. We came here over 40 years ago. She came from the Twin Islands of Trinidad and Tobago, and I from Jamaica. And we're some hardworking immigrants. We've been working in Washington, D.C. I work as a speech language pathologist, and Myrtle work as a textile specialist. So I'm going to introduce you to her because today it's all about her. And uh, let's hear her story. Hey, Myrtle, how are you? Thank you for having me. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So tell me, where do you work and what do you do? Okay, I work for the U.S. House of Representatives for the last 20 years. I'm a textile specialist, meaning I do all the window treatments for the Hill, meaning the Rayburn Building, the Longworth Building, the Cannon Building, and the Capitol. Wow. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of yeah. work. You can do it all day long. All, all day, day long. long. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you do that bunting, that beautiful patriotic bunting that everybody was looking at today when President Biden took the oath, they were looking at your work. Yes, they were. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how many inaugurations have you worked for? Oh, I've done five so far. This is my fifth one. Oh, wow. Yes. So that means you've done Biden. Yes. And you've done... Obama twice. Uh, before Obama, you've done Biden, and then Trump. Trump. <laughs> and then <laughs> Obama, yes. Obama, mm -hmm. and Bush. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have worked no matter... Democrat, Republican, doesn't it doesn't it matter. Mm -hmm. You make those beautiful patriotic bunting. Yes, oh my goodness, that is so exciting. Mm -hmm. So inauguration comes every four years. Yes. And I know you go to work every day. Mm -hmm. What do you do in between those four years? Well, um, we have uh, one, two, three, four buildings to maintain every day. Wow. And I'm talking, when I say maintain, I'm talking strictly window treatment. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I have to do pillows or maybe tablecloths, whatever the, the issue is with fabric. So long there's fabric involved, Myrtle is involved. Wow. So I have work to keep me busy all day long. Trust me, you would not believe how many times they want to paint, you know, so oh my. I'm busy all day. So tell me, what does a textile specialist do? Right. Just in case there's a little young one who would like to become a, a textile specialist like Miss Myrtle when they grow up. All right. They'll give me some numbers, a measurement, and a picture and tell me they want me to create that. So that's what a textile specialist does. Mm -hmm. They create whatever they put in that picture along with the measurement. Wow. Uh, however big it may be, however small it may be, that's what they call it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And your textile work is specifically what kind of fabric do you work with? oh man all kinds uh, first of all i love the natural fabrics but sometimes it's not as natural as i would like but i mean they're paying for it big money so why not i love to work on their fabrics it's a lot of nice trims a lot of nice fabrics expensive some not so expensive but i love fabrics anyway so yeah it's all in my you know so it's all there. about getting a plain piece of fabric yeah. and creating something i just creating something beautiful yes, yes, dressing yes. a window yes, a door yes. a whatever room. the situation is it could be a square table it could be a rectangle table it could be whatever wow yeah oh that's mm -hmm. beautiful and i do a lot of those i do a lot of tablecloths because sometimes we have a vendor coming in to do a a, a trade show Mm -hmm. and they want like 12 tablecloths they may give me a week to do that wow so which means i'm busy all week trying to get wow. that ready you know so. wow to get it done mm -hmm. yeah so um in between the inauguration we have um 
two year election cycles. Yeah. Yeah. Do you prepare for that as well? Yes, we do. It's the same as doing inauguration, except there's no inauguration, but there always is um, transition, yeah. which means, you know, a lot of people, would, a lot of the congressmen and women would lose their seat and somebody, somebody else take the seat, then we have to create something for that person, for that mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. And each office has got, I mean, each office, is, each suite has got three to five windows. So we have to create something for each one of those windows because nine out of ten and a half times, nine out of nine and a half point nine out of ten times, they would not like what's already in there. Uh huh. Everyone mm -hmm. wants something mm -hmm. fresh. Yep. Yep. And they mm -hmm. want their own decor. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Sometimes the wives come in or the spouses come in and say, "We want this. We want that. We have mm -hmm. to create it." Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's exciting. That, yeah. that is. That's why I love it so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the freshness of. So, in addition to the window dressing and the pillows and the table, what else have you worked on while you're there on, on the hill? Well, uh, one of my greatest moments, I've done the catafall that um, Ronald Reagan laid on. I've done the one Rosa Parks laid on. For me, those two were originals, and those were my biggest um, um, achievements so far except for the <laughs> Obama's inauguration. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And everybody know why. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, go yeah. ahead and tell us about your favorite activity. I mean, your favorite <laughs> inauguration. Oh, yeah, that's go ahead. Favorite. That was yeah. my favorite. Um, well, um, we had, before that, we had, before Obama's inauguration, President Obama's inauguration, they had, uh, they had some, some decors before, but it wasn't as outstanding. You know, the, the, the painting was just so dim. And so my boss came to me one day and she said, Myrtle, we want to create something that is more outstanding, more bold that we can see. She said, let's try something. And so she got the fabric printed and all of that. And with the stars bolder, I don't know if anybody would remember looking at the difference between this one and maybe ray guns or whatever. Anyway, so she brought that in, gave me my measurements and tell me, do this. Wow. And, and so that. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that is exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we have someone who lay in state yes. Those are at the, yes. at the, the Capitol. Black. Yes. All the black that you may see uh -huh. around the doors. I mean, the big doors have flags and side panels and, and then the catafall is laying there. I do all of those. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I have to do them in a hurry, too. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. when somebody's dead, they're not waiting for you. Right. <laughs> you have to get it done. Da, da, da. Right, right. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, and I got prepared for that from my early years. Tell us about that. I, I started out um, cutting up my mother's sheet and pillowcases and things to make clo clothing. And then after that, that I... That was while you were living in... Tobago. Tobago, yeah, quite a quite a youth, maybe mm, maybe not even a teenager yet. Yes. And then um, I did go off to high school and all of that, but uh, in the times, high school was not my forte. Yes. So you know, some of us like to do things with hands and mm -hmm. so forth. So they sent me off, you know, with one of my cousins. Um, she I did stay with her for a couple of years, but she was not very accommodating. So I went off to Trinidad, mm -hmm. and in Trinidad, you now they had lots of garment industry. And so I got a job in one of them. And I had to put like three, 400 pockets together in a day so I get, wow. could, can get paid. And it got to be neat. I don't know if anybody remember what the shirt jacks look like with yes. four pockets outside. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you wear that shirt outside. Uh -huh. And this po these pockets had to be neat, wow. really neat. So I had to be fast uh -huh. and I had to be neat. Uh -huh. And boy, is it paying off today. Wow. <laughs> It's paying off really great today because I still got my speed mm -hmm. and I still have to be neat. And, and those are a couple of the things that, you know, my bosses talk about all the time. On yeah. top of that, we think you're a genius at this. Yes, <laughs> yes, we think you're a genius. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. love what I do. I love my job. That's why I'm not retired yet. <laughs> yes. So I think about the people who lay in state at the Capitol, we had Rosa Parks, yes. we had Coretta Scott King, yes, we, had Ronald Reagan, we had Ronald Reagan, Ford, we had uh, President Jack Ford, Ford. Mm -hmm. we had, um, last we had John Lewis. Yes. So yes. 
all of that when we look at the pictures yeah. of the body that is laid in state mm -hmm. there in the capital mm -hmm. we're looking at your work yes most of the times it's in black most of the times we have done burgundy mm -hmm. but most of the times it's in black mm -hmm. and whatever black fabric you've seen around all around the doors and whatever i'm the person who blame that one wow yeah. wow and they have we have guys that install but i am the person making them yes yes, yes. so myrtle um Let's talk about January 6th. Mm -hmm. That is a day that we will not forget. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine called me and she said, you need to look at the news. I know you're busy at work, but mm -hmm. you need to look at the news. Mm -hmm. I looked at the news and my mind went straight to you. Mm -hmm. I called you, you told me you were okay. Mm -hmm. Now you tell us your story mm -hmm. about that day. Okay, so I mean, because inauguration was that close, it was just a busy, very busy week. And so I continued working. And then um, when it was time to go home, which was a 10 of 2, uh, my boss and I walked out. And as we got to the Longworth building entrance to leave, to exit, and the cop said, you can't go out. I said, what do you mean I can't go out? He says, well, you know, we're on lockdown. I said, lockdown for what? Because I'm so busy, I'm not looking at the phone, I'm not looking at TV, I'm not looking at anything. But anyway, um, so when he said that and he told us what was happening, I said, okay, we're going back to the office. I said, I'm going back. My boss said, she's going back as well. So we both went back to the office. And um, my phone was blowing up from family members all over the world calling me. And locally, everybody was calling. I said, you know what? Let me turn this phone face down. So I turned the phone face down. And I went back to work. And that's how I dealt with it. Because if I'm not looking at TV and I'm not looking at the phone, then I have no time to get, you know, all excited and exactly. upset and, uh, you know, all this anxiety about getting out of here and whatever. And I just stayed there for six hours. I got a lot done, though, a whole lot done wow. in six hours. and just kept my mind at ease, just, uh, you know. And so beautiful um, coping strategy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. was that I just was came good. up with it because I didn't want to you know, get all sucked into what was happening outside. Because mm -hmm. that's what everybody wants, for you to be sucked into that and lose your focus. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do mm -hmm. that. So I prefer to go back to work. And, and you were able to accomplish your work. A lot. And a lot. I got a lot done in those six hours with no disturbance. Wow. So that was great for me. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah really you, have, you have some wonderful coping strategies because the rest <laughs> of us, we're out here worried about you and, um, yeah. you know, just wanted to know when is this going to be resolved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, but you made use of the time. Right. So your project was on time yes. for today, yes. inauguration yes. day. And what yes. a beauty it was. I didn't have to work on a Sunday to accomplish uh -huh. my goals. And I was really happy for that, you yes. know. Yes. In the meantime, my husband was home looking at TV and getting crazy because, you know, I'm not seeing what he's seeing, yes. and you know, but... I know I was okay so long I stayed where I was, mm -hmm. you know, and with God, all things are possible. That's so. awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that's how I yeah. One of the things that I want us to talk about a little bit is all the awards that you have gotten mm -hmm. for your work. I think it's in the bag over there. And um, I am always appreciative when people who you work with acknowledge your hard work. And, and they did that. And I just want to pull out a couple of, uh, of your work there. Let's see. All right. She has a bag full of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we have a bag full. And the first one that I'd like to share with your audience is a certificate presented to you in recognition of extraordinary effort, Myrtle's extraordinary effort for the lying in state of the late Honorable Ronald Reagan, his 40th presidency in the United States. And this was in 2004. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. So you've been doing this for quite a yeah, while. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah. That, is, that is good. Then let me see what else we have that we can share with our um, share with our audience. We have here certificate of tenure for your hard work, fifteen years. That was 
and they didn't put a date on it, but yeah, so you've been there for 20 years, so this was five yeah, years yeah, ago, a certificate of 10 years to Myrtle Miller for all her hard work for what she has been doing at the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C., and let's see what else we have. Um, uh, let's see, logistics, 2016 logistics. The big D E A L, the big deal award. What was this, Myrtle? Well, um, they were picking the person that was most valuable at that. At they they did a uh, what do you call it? What did it? Uh, uh, this was from the House of Representatives. Yes, they Washington. did. Uh, um, they had voting, uh -huh. and everybody had to pick the person that they thought was most valuable in their department. Wow! And so the ev uh, everybody has voted me. So the chief officer of logistics mm -hmm. um, endorsed Strong this. Point, yeah. Wow! Yeah. Thank you for your efforts and dedication. The service you provided to the house community is a key part of the logistics and support overall yeah. and, and its overall success. Yeah, and that's a team, wow. Yeah. That's a team, yeah. And that was a team. Mm -hmm. And there you are with your beautiful smile, Myrtle. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yes. Oh my goodness. And then we have Myrtle usually makes sure she gets all the training that she needs to stay on the cutting edge of her job. Yeah, so true. she went to North Carolina. Tell us about this. That was very exciting. I started going there from 2003. And I, sometimes I even went twice a year. And boy, did I learn a lot. I mean, you know, the school was very um, prepared to, you know, um, teach you and, you know, to make sure that when you came back, you were as professional as you could have been, mm -hmm. you know, and I really enjoyed those trips. I did it like maybe about 10 times. Wow. This is just one. Yeah. yeah. I did all kinds of things with them. Oh, my goodness. You know, that made my skills got better. So no wonder you're so sharp <laughs> and, and, and so much with it. And uh, let's see, this is another certificate of tenure. That was when you were 10, ten years. years. Yeah. So we have 15 years ten and, years. and the 10 year mm -hmm. tenure. All right. Mm -hmm. So during the Obama years, when, uh, well, 2009, yeah. we had okay. lots of um, articles, mm -hmm. you know, from Trinidad and from the Columbia Union Visitor Magazine. This was an article it says metropolitan church member creates bunting for the inauguration and i was lucky enough to write this article <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that i like with um myrtle's journey you know she shares it with me and every inauguration day we celebrate together one year myrtle and her husband and myself we went to inauguration ball mm -hmm. another year we toured the building mm -hmm. we toured the capitol mm -hmm. building and another year, we just sat at her table mm -hmm. and drink a uh, bowl of soup. <laughs> and here we are, 2021, yeah. and we're just celebrating your yeah. hard work, Myrtle. Yeah. And, um, yeah. you know, God has blessed you. You're mm -hmm. a genius mm -hmm. and just a hardworking person. Mm -hmm. And we just say kudos to you, my friend. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you. Thank I know you. that this has been a hard year for you. Mm -hmm. Your mom, mm -hmm. you know, passing in COVID mm -hmm. and just living through January 6th. Mm -hmm. it, it's been rough, yeah, it's but you're still standing. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just want anyone, just go back and look at the inauguration event and all that beautiful background work. That was Nora. That was Miss Myrtle. That was Miss Myrtle Nora. So congratulations, Myrtle, and may God bless you. Oh, thank you so much, and Barbara. I can always leave it up to you. You will find a way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I like to be with people yes, who are I going know. places, right? <laughs> yes. I may not want to, but Barbara will make sure it's done. <laughs> yes, yes. But congratulations on thank your hard you. work thank over you. the years. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. And this was another moment with Marla. Mm -hmm. Yeah.